Welcome everyone. Thank you for being here today because we are going three deep. Oh, baby. Episode number three. So glad you guys are here. And as a bonus, it's Friday. We drop our new videos every Friday, at least for now. So you might want to click on that notifications button so that you're notified whenever something new is out there and you haven't really been paying attention. So there you have it. Now, I'm hoping that you guys had a great week and you didn't work too hard and you're ready to sit back, relax, watch some packages being opened and listening to my lips flap. Now, you could just mute it, but you just see a lot of this and that's not entirely entertaining. I mean, I guess maybe for some that might be something that is worthy of watching without sound. But to move on, we still have three packages remaining from our previous episode. How ironic. Three packages remaining. We're on episode number three. Wow. Now, could I allow or let, you know, three packages take up a 20-minute time span? <laughs> I know I went a little over in a previous episode, and I'm trying to do better with that. But in case we need some fillers, I was able to get us some fillers, guys. Just just a couple. I mean, it's nothing crazy. Uh, j just a few. But I think for now, we're just going to focus on <laughs> the first three that we have here. So um, that's exactly what we're going to do right now. So oh, these have been, you know, a package that sits there unopened has been sitting there for too long. That's how I see it. So these have been in this household for far too long sitting here because I wanted to, uh, to make sure that we have content for the show. So once again, um, you know, we got the, uh, the lovely, lovely unpackaging that you guys enjoy oh so much so uh just just bear with me here guys uh, and i think to myself sometimes dude why don't you just like kind of you know unpackage it first and then just go from there <laughs> but uh but i i don't always feel that it, it works out better that way because there's still I just, I, I don't know. I, I just, I kind of just want my reaction, I guess, to be genuine. So by not knowing, you know, I mean, I guess I know I'm, I wouldn't be looking at the cards per se, but you know what I'm trying to say. Yeah, yeah, I know. We're seeing a few of them as I'm unraveling everything here. But the majority of them, we're not going to be seeing until we get through them. So... This show should actually be called something a little different, I think. I should I think it should be called, you know, in the box, otherwise unwrapping. Or something like that. Something having to do with unwrapping and opening up stuff. Um that's that's just my personal opinion. But it gives me time to uh sit here and flap my lips and um talk to you guys a little bit. Now I do have some plans. I will uh I will mention that because um there are some plans in the making uh, as far as like, you know, this background isn't the greatest and uh, I do plan on making some changes, but it will take uh, a little bit of time because of everything that I have to arrange uh, in order to, to get to that. So just for future reference, I'm warning you guys now, this is not going to remain this way. It will be different in the future. Okay, so here we go. I've got a nice little stack here, as you guys know. You guys saw me undo everything, take everything apart. So let's just take a look and see what we've got. Oh, nice. Okay, Intimidation Nation from Metal Universe. I don't have a ton of this stuff. Um, however, I do really like um, the uh, Metal Universe stuff that has come out. So um, I'm going to put that up there. I know I forgot to mention that goalie's name. 
Intimidation Nation, once again, I believe these are from 2021. Yes, they are from 2021. Failed to mention that. Uh, this is Alex Stilock. So this has a nice little subset, especially for goalie collectors. This is perfect for them. And it's got a bit of that like rainbow kind of effect in the background there, as you can see. Uh, Braden Holtby, another great goalie. Mackenzie Blackwood, Intimidation Nation. I like these ones, especially simply simply because of the fact that they're like they're zoomed right up there, as so you can see their mask and everything. I I remember in the '90s when they had the mask cards, where they just they just basically showcased uh, goalie masks, and I always thought that was kind of cool. And I believe in the game also did that as well. Um, they had some kind of a like it was called the mask. The subset was called the mask. And they had different um, different series, which was pretty freaking cool. Wish um, wish UD would do something like that. Um, okay, John Leonard. This is a uh, debut dates. We've had uh, a few of these in the past. I'm hoping, hoping, I'm hoping, guys. I'm hoping that the uh, the lighting is uh, is uh, is okay on this video because I had to change it up i felt like um, maybe it was a bit too much and i'm not getting as much as a glare i find this time around maybe sometimes if i tilt it just the right way um carrying on jack rathbone debut dates continuing on with debut dates again we have arthur kellyev again i really like these uh these cards i remember mentioning that in a previous episode and this must have been a lot that uh, that I, I bid on and, and just won. Kevin Lankinen. More debut dates. Keandre Miller. Oh boy, got quite a Ty Smith got quite a bit of these. This is uh quite the quite the little lot here. Pierre Oliver Joseph. I feel that my camera keeps going out of focus, but maybe I'm just wrong here. Who knows? Debut, not debut days. Oh my God, we just did that. UD portraits. I'm going to get a slew of these. I know it because when I buy in uh, in large quantities, uh, whether it's a collection or in bulk or whatever, it never fails that I get a slew of UD portraits. I see we got something a little different here. This is from Series 1. 21 22 upper deck these are pretty cool i like these cards these are the um sorry about that just checking to make sure i'm not going out of focus here too bad uh the honor roll superstar honor roll so brock besser i remember what i think it was the first episode i screwed up this guy's name and i don't know why or how i managed to do that <laughs> i guess i just wasn't really paying much of attention i guess and just kind of mispronounced his name brad marchand very well known player within the nhl a lot of us know who this guy is you either love him or you hate him i think a lot of people dislike him but i think if he's on your team you just gotta love him that's that's how i would look at it i personally don't have an opinion on him myself but there we have it the flower mark andre fleury Honor roll card. More honor roll cards. Pedersen. Elias Pedersen. Everybody says his name differently. Some people say Peterson, and there's another way I've heard it being said. And Mark Shifley. Mark Shifley. Um, I remember. Um, I remember living in Barrie, and he played for the Barrie Colts in the OHL. And um, my employer was the photographer for the Barry Colts. And uh, when Mr. Shifley got drafted, he was invited to the shop that I was working at. So I had a chance to meet Mr. Shifley here. Uh, and the picture I have, he's very, very, very young. He looks nothing like this. It's just, it's just a younger version of him, actually. And... Uh, it's a pretty cool memory. It's a really, really cool memory. I'm glad that uh, that I still have that photo of of 
of uh, of us standing there in the store. And he was there taking autographs or, fo sorry, photos. And I think some autographs, I think. Braden Point. What else we got here? We've got Alex DeBrinkett. And I, you know what? I think I'm going to have a nice little chunk of this subset. <laughs> these honor roll cards. And Ovi. Alex Ovechkin, as I'm sure everybody knows. Sure, everyone knows. Jeez, I dropped that. <laughs> is now uh, has now beaten Gordy Howe's scoring record. That is awesome! Wow. And of course, Nathan McKinnon, as we all, some of us probably recognize him from the Tim Hortons commercials from the uh, Tim Hortons card packs. Hundo P, Hundo P, we got Austin Matthews from the Toronto Maple Leafs. I think this is another one that I'm going to get pretty much uh, a good chunk of. Wow, Crosby. You don't, you know what's funny is I don't normally get too many Crosby cards. Just I find people tend to not really let them go, in my opinion, anyways, with a lot of the stuff that I... Uh, purchase Milan Lucic I just call him Cheech <laughs> that's enough said right there <laughs> Anthony Angelo prospects from Skybox Premiere I believe this is from Metal Universe and in fact it is and it is a subset of all the prospects I don't have too many of those. I can pretty much tell you that right off the hop. Pierre Oliver Joseph, we had him in a previous card or subset. Not bad. I don't mind the design of these cards. Um, however, they do look awfully familiar from a few years back where they released a, um, a similar product like this, I believe from um, Showcase. I think it was like Fleer Showcase. And the, this design looks very, very similar, if not the same here. It's a Liam Foudy. And who else we have? Tyler Benson. Prospect. Oh, frick. Got some more of these things. Yanni. I don't know how to say that guy's last name. I don't. I can always attempt it. Sometimes I'm brave enough, but other times I'm like, you know what? I don't. <laughs> I kind of don't really want to sometimes. Uh, Mickey Anderson. Now that one, a pretty simple one. A <laughs> pretty simple one prospect there. Victor Soderstrom from Phoenix. The Coyotes. The Yotes, Shane Bowers, prospect card. Holy moly, some more of these things. Kiefer Bellows, prospects, and Gustav Lind Lindstrom. I almost pronounced that a little wrong there. That's my... Uh, Brother James's team right there. Every time I see the Detroit Red Wings, I think of my brother, my older brother. Timmy Horton. This this from a few years back, I believe, from the Tim Horton series from 1718. The top 100. These were the checklists. I know I got tons of those. That's for sure. Allowance. I don't have any of these, but I have seen these, actually. Oh, so Benajad and Panarin, these are pretty nice cards. Wait a minute, what did I call that? Did I call that allow? Does that say allowance? Oh my gosh, I can't read. That's a weird font. That is a strange font. I don't even know if I said that right when I looked at it the first time. I just <laughs> said what. Maybe I did say it right. I don't know. But anyways, carrying on. <laughs> and ending up this ending this one off, I guess, with uh, the UD Portraits card. He's a rookie. It is his rookie year. But there was 
two cards over here in uh, top loaders. I'm just going to put these there. I don't know what the deal is with these. Vitaly Kratsov. Oh, I see, I see. SP Rookie Authentics out of... That's a pretty high number. 2,299 copies. Um, I'm just going to actually take this out of here for now. Those are pretty nice. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. And we got, I see it's a Panarin card and a top loader. I'm just going to take this off for now. And it is... Literally out of a thousand. Usually it's like 999 or something. And this time it's literally out of a thousand. That's that's pretty neat. Pros and prospects. I remember this original design from that original set. And I, was, I believe it was from the early 2000s. And um, they were all right. They were all right. Not bad. And uh, of course this year... The 2021 Upper Deck Extended Series, they they made them into a subset of sorts. So, wow, geez, that was that was just the first package. Oh my god, am I even gonna make it through to the other two? Oh my gosh, might have to extend these uh, episodes to like 40 minutes or something. That's ridiculous. Then again, I'm not exactly rushing through it. Maybe I should be going a little bit quicker, but uh, not exactly rushing through it. I don't know why they put the plastic over it. They should... <laughs> a little backwards in my opinion, but okay. Let's just go with it. Let's just go with it, guys. Okay. Shove that over there. Now, when it goes by quick like this, I don't, I don't mind it as long as I get everything out relatively quick, so you guys aren't sitting there waiting. And and uh, I'm sure I've mentioned in the past too that I'm not a fan um, of listening to packages being open, like packs of cards and stuff. And it depends on it usually depends on on the host and who's doing it because sometimes it's like. The packaging is super loud. And it's like, ugh, just makes me grind my teeth a little bit. So I'm hoping that's not the case when I'm trying to do this. Oh my gosh. I can't complain though. That's the thing is I can't complain. You know, like some people I've seen some really, really bad, really bad packages. Like shocking that some of them didn't come back damaged. But um, I'd rather, I guess I'd rather this than, you know, have a bunch of cards that are just completely destroyed. Oh my gosh, sorry about that. Guys, okay, we're going to continue on here. We're going to go a little quicker on this one. So we got some more auto roll cards. Brady Kachuk. Oh, what do we got here? SP Authentic Celebrated Moments. Braden Point. We also had him earlier as well. Another Celebrated Moments. Steven Stamkos. Looks like another Stammer right here. True Leaders from SP Authentic. Celebrated Moments once again of Ovi. Ovi, I know, uh, you know, I'm pretty sure a lot of these cards are not very sought after cards from, you know, from a lot of people, but these are perfect for, for my collection. It fills in a lot of gaps. Kevin Lenkinen. Yeah, it looks like, oh, frig, eh? Good old Tony Amonti. That's just a regular base card. I'm not entirely sure why they sent that to me. This looks like another base card of Patrick Kane. So that's, yeah, no, that's a, that's a no for me. Don't need that. Shining Stars. I mean, these these come uh, quite, 
quite often, although the, the, the blue variations are in one year. I think it was red. I think it was ruby. Um, I don't mind getting these ones. But the regulars? Yeah, I try to avoid those now. I get so many of them. Authentic Profiles, Mr. Matthews from SP. Those are, I actually like the looks of these cards. It's just, there's something about them. Something about them. They're not like crazy, super fancy, but just some, something about them. Jay Gottinger. Authentic Rookies. Oh, this, this is the guy everybody's going nuts over, at least in some of the, some of the groups that I'm in. They're just going nuts over Jason Robertson. Oh my gosh. We got some more of these authentic rookies from SP. Another nice little chunk of stuff that that'll be great for my collection because uh, I don't come across the SP stuff very often. Oh my God, those are sliding everywhere. Carlson, Eric Carlson, that is another base card from SP Game Used. That's probably not likely needed. Shane Pinto, this is a uh, OPG Glossy Rookies Gold. Likely not one that is in my collection yet. Well, I guess technically now it would be. Eric Carlson from Timmy's. This is the uh, Stat Makers. I already have a slew of these. So, uh, they, those do quite well. I find that the Timmy's cards do quite well uh, as far as selling. Even the base cards, I find once all the hype is gone, they're not really available. They sell quite well. Bobby Ryan. This is Fleer Ultra from 1415 Gold Medallion card. Uh, flip that back up like that. Okay, what do we got here? 2021 SB Hockey. Ooh, is there two cards in there? Nicholas Bowden. Oh, it's a jersey card. Well, that explains it. That explains it. I was wondering why it was in such a big, thick top loader here. A little piece of his jersey there. Not bad. Not bad. Totally forgot about that. And a rookie retrospective. Of Sutter. Suter, I think. That is the gold variation. Nice. Nice. Ooh, what do we got here? What do we got here? SP Game U. Sorry for the glare, guys. SP Game U Stadium Series, Kempe and Carter. Oh, is this a dual jersey? Oh, nice. Stadium Series. I have none of these. I can tell you that right off the hop. Nice. Nice. 2021 SP Game Used. Well, I'll gladly accept that. Jeff Carter, SP Game Used again. I'm thinking this is, yeah. I'm guessing this is the gold variation, I guess, out of 265. Nice, nice, nice. Got a nice little, little bit more to go here, guys, before we call it an episode. What the heck's going on here? Oh, oh. Okay, all right. Looks to be like a little, little lot here. Let's just take a quick look. Oh, SP Authentic Spectrum FX. And I'm wondering if all of these are unscratched. Unscratched on the back. So for those of you that are not fully aware, um, there are some cards that had this, this little scratchy here. And when you scratch that, it gives you basically a code. And then you can submit that code to Upper Deck. And I, I think you have to have so many of them. I'm not entirely sure because I've never really done it. Uh, and then you get, um, I think you get a different variation of a set or something like that. There's, there's some, it's called a, I believe it's called like a bounty, bounty something rather. Um, I don't, I don't really care much for them, but, uh, but I've noticed that, um, there are some people that do like to, uh, scratch these and, and claim the prize behind it. Whereas I have gotten some cards as well where the back is already scratched and it has been redeemed. So uh, either way, I just, I, I can care less really, honest, honestly. Uh, Mitch Marner. 
So, but I'm just going to check the back just to see if it has been scratched or not because I'm just out of curiosity. And I know I don't have a lot of these S, um, SP Authentic Spectrum FX cards. They're pretty neat though. Roman Josie or Yossi, sorry. Anze Kopitar. Just checking the back. Huberdo. John Carlson. Yeah, so far they're not scratched at all. Victor Hedman. And they're not, uh, but they're not, um, they're not numbered either, which is fine. Mark Stone. So none of those are scratched, and it looks like these ones aren't scratched either. We got a John Tavares and an Austin Matthews. There we have it. There we have it. Sorry about that, guys. My battery died. I didn't realize it was, uh, it was so low. But um, we will just add this one to uh, to the other pile and continue on. As I mentioned at the beginning of the episode, uh, I do have some plans in the future uh, to kind of spice things up around here. And uh, I got a few more things that are that are packaged up, ready to be opened. Uh, even some packs uh, should be very, very interesting in the upcoming episodes. So glad you were uh, able to join me today. Please come back for episode number four. You know, this is great. Loving this, loving this, loving this a lot. Thanks for everybody. It's been very, very supportive. And um, I couldn't have done this without you guys. So remember, guys, collecting doesn't have to break the bank. And until next time, keep building that collection. And we'll see you next time.